digital marketing course for beginners part two look you want to know digital marketing because it is the up and coming thing now this is part two of digital marketing for beginners if you haven't watched part one go back and watch part one you'll need to know that as you watch this video too so it's really important that you get one and two there's four of these videos all together so make sure you watch all four of them they're all going to be in this playlist there seems to be this really misplaced fear of technology there shouldn't be any fear it's something that's going to make your life easier you got to understand this and you can benefit from it because a lot of people are scared of it so if you're not and you learn it you can make money in this video i'm going to continue to teach you guys how to do digital marketing hey i'm jr fisher welcome to this channel i really appreciate you being here don't forget to subscribe there's a big subscribe button down there hit that button now next to it there's a bell it's like this you want to ring the bell turn on all notifications so that you don't miss anything you'll become part of the fisher family the vip group that gets notified every single time i do a video now i've been selling online since 2009 i've sold millions of dollars of both digital and physical products and digital marketing has really helped me now this is really your channel i want you to put your comments below what do you like about this video what have you tried to do what do you know about digital marketing what questions do you have put those comments below now i want to i want to go over there's really two areas of digital marketing there's online digital marketing and there's offline digital marketing and i want to break those two down so you understand every single component there are seven big categories of online marketing those are search engine optimization better known as seo there is search engine marketing better known as sem there is content marketing where you're going to actually put some content online there is social media marketing better known as smm there's pay-per-click advertising better known as ppc there is affiliate marketing and lastly there is email marketing now i want to put this infographic on the screen um, this is done by unbounce and they kind of break down all these different categories so you can kind of see what all these areas are there are basically four categories of digital offline marketing the first one i'd like to call enhanced offline marketing now this may be where you go into a restaurant and the patrons of the restaurant can actually use an ipad to order food and read on the menu now this is something that kind of enhances their experience next there's actually radio marketing that's mr marconi you can thank him for that and then we don't want to forget television marketing right that is enhanced marketing using an electronic device and then next is probably the most irritating type of marketing and that is phone marketing and i know i get calls on my phone all the time and it really drives me crazy now think about it what is the difference in enhanced offline marketing in new york city or arizona the size the product no not at all it's actually three letters l e d light emitting diodes now if you think about it in times square there's a lot of signs there and the way you're going to compete in times square is by having a brighter bigger you know more elaborate billboard than somebody else but if you're in arizona in the desert if you have a billboard you can compete that's all it really takes but you think of the value too in a place like times square where there's over 300,000 people that cross through it each day then that value is much higher because you're getting your message in front of a lot more people now renting a billboard in times square can cost you anywhere from 1 million to 4 million dollars let's talk about radio marketing for a second for over a hundred years we have been advertising on the radio and radio is still here it may not be in as big as uh, uh factor as it used to be but it's still here did you know that radio still reaches 85 percent of the population every single week the people who listen they listen to up to two hours a day that's a lot of ads as a matter of fact 40 percent of the radio advertising worldwide is right in the united states now there's other competitors out there now like pandora and they've got 80 million users so that's a big chunk of that radio revenue so they're not near as profitable as they used to be but you know it's it's very similar when when people say things like emails dead or radios dead it's not dead it's just not what it was maybe you know a number of years ago so we don't want to forget these ways of advertising because they really do still work they just don't work in the same way or maybe they don't reach as many people maybe they're not quite as effective but they're still very very effective 
now a really cool way to do ads on the radio is to actually advertise before the show starts when people tune in for a particular show they're going to want to watch that show if you put your ads at the end of that show or in the middle of that show you're less likely to actually hit your target audience but if you put it in right before that show starts most people will tune in before the actual show starts so this is kind of a hack of making sure more people will actually hear your ad on a radio if you want to actually get your product or service in front of people since social media is so big nowadays it's pretty easy to actually get your presence on one of these shows and most of them will actually negotiate with you they they want advertisers now or better yet a lot of them will actually do an interview with you because they need content for their show so if you're offering to talk about a service like i own a survival food company so if you offer to go in there and talk about something that's helpful like the situation in the world now and uh, we sell survival food so that situation in the world now which i don't think i can say what it is or you know youtube may block my ads or something but when you're talking about situations like what's going on in the world now and i have a product like survival food many of them see that as a public interest interview and a lot of times you can get a free interview now keep in mind if you're doing an interview or you're doing an ad or anything the important part is that you entertain to a particular degree you have to be interesting you can't be boring you can't be mundane you can't do these things people need to be entertained it's been proven that people who are entertained during an advertisement are much more likely to buy the product than people who just put a product out there and talk about the features and benefits so do your best to be entertaining this can be funny this could be scary this could be warnings it could be all kinds of different stuff but you've got to be entertaining when you're doing these interviews or when you're doing these ads you cannot leave out that component it is so so very important I think you'll agree that the commercials that we see on TV today the ads that we hear on the radio nowadays are a whole lot more entertaining than they used to be they're gonna be funny or they're gonna to try to speak to you as an individual I think of you know Geico insurance and all the different types of commercials they have I also think of progressive insurance and flow and all the characters they have involved in that uh, or Liberty insurance where they're always stand there with a statue of Liberty behind them and something funny is going on all of these advertisers have figured out that they need to be entertaining they're selling a really boring product I mean insurance is a very very boring product okay there's not much excitement to that the way insurance works is you know you you pay me over and over and then when you die you know we'll pay you or when you get in a car wreck we'll pay you so it's not really an exciting product to sell but you can make it entertaining and you can make it funny and make people more likely to buy from your brand I think of somebody like Joe Rogan who has you know done a podcast for 11 years now and he's primarily built his whole podcast on interviewing interesting people that nobody else thought was interesting so he's done that and he's now sold out and made millions of dollars uh, on his podcast just because he stuck to it and he did an entertaining show and he worked hard at it and he constantly improved so that's what you have to do with your advertising too in the next video I want to talk to you a little bit more about TV marketing and you know you may think well I'm not gonna advertise radio I'm not gonna advertise TV I'm just gonna do some Facebook ads you need to go through all these components you may find some real good alternatives for you to advertise your products and services and you need to be educated on it you want to be totally educated on digital marketing so that when you go out into the market whether you're selling your product or somebody else's you have all the tools you need I really appreciate you listening to this video and do me a favor if you haven't done so already make sure you hit the subscribe button below make sure you hit the notification bell the bell right next to it you gotta ring the bell if you ring the bell you become part of the Fisher family the VIP group that what gets notified every time I do a video you're not left out in the cold you don't have to search for my videos no they're delivered to you so that you are notified thank you so much for listening put your comments below let me know what you think about these forms of advertising we've talked about here let me know what you're doing for advertising or what you'd like to do if you have questions put those in the comments below thank you so much for listening and I'll see you in part three the next video Hey, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time I do a new video. Also, click on one of those videos there. Keep watching on my channel.